I'm Maeve McCormick from Group 3 in the Congress Luschlag Field School. Um, and today we have we were working on a project with um, di discharge and sediment transport in the Congress Luschlag uh, Fjord and the Watson River. So as part of that, we interviewed um, Andreas Michelson about his research um, on the fjord. My name is Andreas Michelson, and I'm uh, working as a PhD student at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. And um, yeah, my project is about the Watson River. <coughs> so. Uh, question is um, how did you get interested in in this kind of research uh, I mean I was I started out uh, studying uh, studying uh, geography which is very uh, very wide subject or broad you can say mm -hmm. uh, but I was pretty interested in, in uh, kind of the nature and how nature works so so it was not very specific in the start and then uh, Became a bit more interested in, in the climate, and soil, hydrology, and stuff like that. Like that. So, so it's uh, along the way, but uh, it was not that I, I knew from the start that this was what I wanted to do. So, what kind of experiments are you doing here in Greenland? Well, uh, basically, I, I kind of. Uh, do the same you did today, but in a bit more advanced uh, <coughs> version. Um, uh, I wouldn't call my stuff experiments. I, I would more say I, I, I measure stuff here. Uh, uh, so, so I measure the, the, the discharge and, and the sediments transport, and, and also the, some of the input, like the snow precipitation. Uh, to this uh, catchment, so and I use those data then <coughs> uh, to to calculate the, the runoff on basis of uh, of uh, meteorological data. That's the same kind of as modeling the runoff. And then also I look into uh, <coughs> kind of what's the what's the the rate or how fast does a glacier a glacial river like this form form deltas and What's kind of the how big are the fluxes and, and how can, if possible at all, can they be compared to to uh, previous glacier events that the glacier did not like? For okay. So, what is your main goal with these measurements? I mean, uh, there is a. <clears throat> More than one goal. It's it's a number of, of smaller goals, but but uh, one of them is to uh, so I slash we uh, the whole society can can be better in, in understanding how does a hydrological system like like uh, like uh, this big part of the iceberg and, and uh, if something melts on the ice, you how how fast does it drain and does all the water drain out? Uh, uh, to, uh, to get a better uh, process understanding and, uh, and therefore be, be able to to, uh, to calculate the model uh, uh, of data. And then there's kind of the, the thing that relates to how landscapes form and, and, and that's again to, to, to get a way better understanding because it's, it's uh, very rare to, to to measure like geomorphological fluxes in the scale, so so that's kind of the goal. So, how do you apply the information that you gain from these measurements? Uh, how do I apply them? Well, um, that's. Uh, should answer that question it could take a long time, but uh, I mean, some of it is to, to to let's say break it down and take one step at a time. Uh, um, so so I apply the information I get to 
to be better at the process understanding. And, and I mean, even though there's a lot of science going on, we don't know everything about how how the how this uh, glacier, this system like this works and drains. So, so one thing is to find out a small, some small pieces in the puzzle, sort of to say, and then uh, what a scientist do is then, then uh, we publish in, in scientific papers, and and if it gets published there, it means that it's has been accepted by some some reviewers that cannot say, well, it's okay. And, 